有名なき者に理想なし、理想なき者に信念なし、信念なき者に計画なし、計画なき者に実行なし、実行なき者に成果なし、成果なき者に幸福なし。It means that、uh, if you want to be content in life, according to this, you have to basically be a man of action. Which will give you results, and any result, whether it's success or failure, will still bring you contentment because at least you have lived out that dream. My name is Murray Carter, and I'm a bladesmith. My relationship with Japan started when I was about 14 or 15 years old. I went to a karate competition and was very interested in what I saw and immediately enrolled in karate lessons. At that time, I started to do some research and study everything I could about Japan. So I traveled to Japan when I was 18 years old. Of course, I was studying karate, but I also had this chance encounter with this Japanese bladesmith. I ended up driving past this building that caught my attention out of the corner of my eye. There was a big display window in front that had knives in it. Now, as I was looking at the knives, I heard the glass door roll open and Mr. Sakimoto walked through and he said hello. I didn't speak very much Japanese, I'm almost none. I do remember saying, Can I come back sometime to see what you're doing? I didn't know at that time it would be so life changing. That's how a young boy from Halifax, Nova Scotia ended up spending almost half of his、uh, life in Japan. When I first met Mr. Sakimoto, I was 18, and I had a A lot of energy and a lot of ambition and a lot of insecurities at the same time. I wasn't entirely sure that I would amount to much in life, although I wanted to, I had the drive, and anything could have happened at 18. Yoshimoto was the name of Bladesmith. Mr. Sakimoto Yasuyuki was the 16th generation, and he bestowed the honor onto me. I'm the 17th Yoshimoto bladesmith. I am continuing on in the Yoshimoto tradition. I did apprentice for six years. At the six year mark, I was still barely able to put together a flawless knife. I think the North American concept is well, I've been doing it six years, I ought to know what I'm doing now. Uh, I could tell you truthfully, after six years, I was、uh, you know, barely like a black belt in any of the martial arts. It's just the first step, and it's just a license to really start learning. I'm a firm believer that money won from a lottery won't bring you happiness. Because it's just a result that didn't come about because of a dream or a plan or an action. Going from dream to result, that results in happiness. I'm very satisfied that I have stuck with bladesmithing for 26 years now and upwards of 19,000 or 18,000 plus blades. That gives me satisfaction that. I've stuck with something to the point where you know, I can almost do the blindfolded. Everybody needs to be confident that they can do something, or else you basically just live in insecurity your whole life. The confidence that I've gained by being a master bladesmith has made all the difference in the world to me.